Close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind watching the breath. You want to make sure it's not leaning in the direction of desire on the one hand or anger on the other, delusion or fear. The Buddha calls these four biases. When you're making decisions in life, you want to make sure that these things don't come into the decision. In other words, you're not unfair to people because you like someone and don't like someone else, or you're afraid of somebody. But not to be afraid of things outside, you have to have a good, solid sense of yourself inside, that you've got something inside that's not touched by other people's ability to harm. It's the fact that you've got a body means harm can come. The fact that you have possessions means that harm can come. So you need something solid inside that nobody else outside can touch. And that's why we meditate, is to find that solid thing inside that's really safe. And at the same time, we're not placing any burdens on other people, because when our actions are unfair, it places a burden. When our actions are fair, there may be people who don't like it, but at least they have no reason to complain. And if we find something really deep inside that doesn't have to depend on anything outside at all, then our happiness doesn't place a weight on anybody. So the happiness that comes from developing a solid mind is good for you and good for the people around you. So as you deal with the people in the world, you deal with them in a fair way. You don't let your desires get in the way, you don't let your anger get in the way your fear or your delusion. And then we can live in a world where there's a sense of fairness. We're not acting on our prejudices, we're not acting on our biases. We're looking at things and figure out what is the right thing to do. And because we're not trying to feed off of things outside, we're in a much better position to, to really judge well. So to develop your powers of judgment, it requires that you get the mind really still, because otherwise you th see things in a blur, or little, little dots like the game of connect the dots. There's a dot here and the dot there, but you don't really see what the connection is, so you create a line yourself. And sometimes the line is in line with what things really are, and sometimes it's not. But if you're constantly here watching things, you can see the beginning of the story, you can see the end of the story, and what happened in between. In a much better position to give a fair judgment as to what should be done, and particularly with your own mind. Otherwise, the, the lines you draw are based on your prejudices. You don't really see, and you don't see yourself inside. There's even less that you're going to understand outside. So try to understand what's going on in the mind. Be right here. This is the place where you're going to learn how things are connected. And when you really understand that principle, then it's a lot easier to be fair in your judgment as to what to do next. So meditation is a gift not only to yourself, but also to the rest of the world.